Hello and welcome to part one of the installation and configuration of VMware View 4.6. In this part what we're going to be concentrating on is installing the VMware View Composer onto our vCenter server. One of the requirements for VMware View Composer is Microsoft SQL. What I've done for the lab here is I've previously downloaded Microsoft SQL 2005 Express and also the Express Studio to be able to manage it. So what we need to do now is just go through and create a database for View Composer. So what I'm going to do, click Start, SQL Server Management Studio Express. I'll connect through to my SQL Server, expand the databases, and as you can see, I also use this database server for my vCenter database, which is the vim underscore vcdb. In a production environment, I highly recommend to have your SQL server separated from vCenter, um, but just for the lab and demo purposes, I've got everything on the, on the one server here. Also, I'll be using uh, administrator username and password to connect through to the View Composer database. In a production environment, also highly recommend that you create a specific user for the View Composer database. So what I'm going to do to create a database is I'm going to right click on the databases folder here, click new database. For the database name, I'm just going to name it View Composer and click OK. My database is created now and you can see it down here, View Composer. So let's get out of SQL Server Management and now what we need to do is set up the ODBC connector. So, so instead of going through the administrative tools and the data sources ODBC, VMware View Composer setup actually gives you the option to create your ODBC connector on about the third or fourth screen during the installation. So I'm going to take that path and I've got the View Composer installation file on my desktop here in the vCenter server. So I'm going to double click it and get the installation underway. Okay, so the installation wizard has begun. Uh, what we're going to do is just click next here. Uh, next for the end user patent agreement. We'll accept the license agreement. Click next. Um, I'm going to accept the default installation directory. Click next. Okay, so this is the area that I was talking about for setting up the ODBC connector. So let's click ODBC DSN setup. And we're going to create a system DSN. You can see once again uh, my VMware virtual center database ODBC connector here. So we're just going to create a view composer one. So click add. And we're going to select SQL server finish. For the name, just to call it view composer. Description also view composer. And for the server, just click on the drop down menu and select your SQL server. Click Next. And we're going to be using Windows NT authentication to connect through to the SQL server. And I'm going to be connecting through with the administrator account as that's what I'm logged into the vCenter server with. So click Next. I'll change the default database to View Composer. Next. Leave these settings as default and click Finish. Now let's just test our data source and make sure we can have a successful connection through to our database that we set up. Yep, our test completed successfully so we've got a good healthy connection. Let's click OK. Click OK again. Click OK. OK, now what we need to do is just enter in the name of the ODBC connector we just created which was View Composer. I'll enter in the username, administrator, and my password and click Next. I'll leave the port as default, 18443, and I'll create a default SSL certificate. Click Next. So View Composer will be installed into this default directory, which we saw before. Nothing new there. Let's click Install. And the installation process is underway. OK, so the View Composer installation is finished. So let's click Finish here. And that will complete this part of the View 4.6 installation. So in summary, what we've done in this part is we've created a View Composer database in our SQL server. We've created the ODBC connector 
to talk to the database and we've installed View Composer. So that concludes this tutorial on setting up VMware View Composer. In part two, we'll be looking at setting up our VMware View Connection Server. Our VMware View Connection Server is used to connect through to VMware View Composer and it allows us to create multiple desktops. I'd like to thank you for watching this tutorial on VMware View Composer. Please head on over to www.sysadmintutorials.com for many more how-tos, guides and tutorials on various technologies. Thank you.